to finding work. We must commit to real action to alleviate poverty in Australia. Part of that is addressing the appallingly low income support payments. To remedy the long overdue situation, the new Minimum Income for Healthy Living Budget Standards reports recommends the implementation of a regular independent review to assess the adequacy of social security payments and, in particular, the new start payment, which would be modelled upon the current minimum wage system um, of review. We need to be looking at the evidence. We need to increase New Start, and we also need to put in place a new approach to how we set New Start allowances but other income support allowances. If we don't do this, we will continue to see the New Start allowance um, and the youth allowance get further and further behind. An independent panel would ensure that payments across the board are fair and adequate to to meet the needs of people receiving income support and having to depend on income support. We need to take it out of the hands of politicians in this place so that the government of the day does not decide yet again to try and demonise those that are trying to find work. When you remember that for every six people looking for work where there are some skills required, there is one job. In areas where there's lower, in, for people that have a lower skill level, it can get up to one in ten, depending on the area in which you live. So it's not people's fault that they're unemployed. The fact is, there's no jobs there. We are condemning people that cannot find work to live in poverty because the government simply will not recognise that New Start is too low to assist people, to help people have a standard of living that is even halfway considered decent. And I say to Labor, please, please commit to increasing New Start. Don't just say we need another review. When there's consensus across the board, the Business Council, the Business Council, community service organisations such as ACOS and a wide range of others all acknowledge that the New Start allowance and youth allowance are too low. They recognise that living in poverty on New Start allowances on very low income has physical and mental health implications and is a barrier to finding work. If this government is genuine about helping people to find work, increase the New Start allowance. How much more evidence do you need? It is right there. For years it has been right there, and this latest report from the University of New South Wales shows very clearly the need to increase it, shows how far below budget standards it is, and points the way to set for a much fairer approach to the way that we set those allowances. Have an independent approach. Commit to an independent approach to make sure that people are no longer struggling, living below the poverty line on a totally inadequate inhumane payment. Thank you, Senator Seward. Senator